the lesson I have learned here at Broadway is to tell others the holiness you see in their lives. As I go to a new church, I find myself asking people two questions there. One is, who are the holy people here? And second, are they celebrated? I've learned that from you at Broadway. I have seen you tell a woman about her holiness who has hardly any money at all, but who gives to family and friends even when um, she doesn't have any money herself. She gives out of the little bit of nothing that she has. That is holy. I have seen you tell a woman she's holy who has um, invited people to her celebration table, to um, birthday parties and holiday parties at her home. People who have a mental illness. And I have um, seen the way in which she made room for people around that table. That is holy. I have seen you say to young people, boys and girls, who other people might call thugs or juvenile delinquents, but who came and told you a story about starting a bike shop in their neighborhood because they wanted something for themselves and others. That is holy. I saw you tell a woman that she is holy who welcomed people to her home who are HIV positive and have AIDS and the people who love them for dinner every other Friday night and then a night of playing games and having fun. That is holy. Holiness appears in a million different places around us. And what I have learned here at Broadway is to continue to... is that the biggest challenge of my life in ministry is keeping up with all the holiness around me. Thank you, Broadway.